Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today, who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. This week, Pastor Benny Hinn has been sharing a message designed to build your faith, to receive the miracle of healing you are seeking for yourself or a loved one. He has taught on the first three of seven reasons that God heals, including His compassion, His covenant promises to His children, and because it brings Him glory. Today, Pastor Benny concludes his message before entering into a time of worship. As you join him and the audience in experiencing the power which flowed in this service, prepare to release your faith when he prays for you in just a few moments. Number four, the reason he heals is because it fulfills his promises in the Old Covenant. Matthew 8, 16, 17, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. When the even was come, they brought to him many that were possessed with devils. He cast out the spirits with his word, healed all that were sick. The day was is coming. I tell you, watching what's going on in this world today, I think we're coming close to that moment when the power of the Holy Spirit will be so rich that every sickness will be healed. There will not be one sick saint in the body of Christ. Man, I think about what's going on today. The darkness covering the earth. And the glory of God about to appear. Sue, I think you and I will see it. People, I think we're going to see it. I think you need to lift your hand and say, Father, I want to see it. All will be healed all will be healed and I believe when all will be healed that will be the day when all loved ones will be saved when all will be delivered no more bondage no more sickness in the body of Christ we will walk in divine health and wholeness to fulfill his promise that it might be fulfilled verse 17 said which was spoken by the prophet Isaiah Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Why does he heal? Well, number five, he heals because it confirms his promise, his word. Not only does it fulfill, it confirms. Here it says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken. But now in John 10, 37... The Bible tells us that it confirms the word. The word with signs following. John 10, 37 and 38. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. What Jesus is saying is, believe for the work's sake. Let the word be confirmed. The word I speak is confirmed by those signs. Number six, Acts 10, 38. Why does he heal? He heals because he wants to destroy the works of the devil. Sickness is the work of the devil. Never accept anything different than that. He came to heal all oppressed of the devil, the word of God says. Sickness is not a blessing. Why does he heal? Acts 3, 7 to 12 and 4 verse 4 gives us the seventh reason God heals. Because healing will bring souls into the kingdom. That's why he heals. When the, when the word of God in Acts 3, when they saw that miracle, 5,000 were saved. Then in Acts 4, many believed when they saw the power of God. 
souls will be saved. And this very simple message is what I want to preach to you. But Lamentation 3.33 is something precious to me. He doth not afflict willingly. He doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. It's not his will for you to be sick. He does not allow sickness willingly. In some cases, it's because people are not living righteously. In Psalm 107, it makes it very clear. For their sin, they're being judged. We don't understand completely why sickness comes. In Philippians 2.30, one of uh, Paul's helpers was sick because he just worked too hard. Sickness will come because we don't eat right, sometimes. Sometimes it comes because we're not living right. Sometimes because we're working just too hard and not taking care of our body. But the good news is God is always there, ready to heal. Now lift your hands and receive. Your healing. Your touch from heaven. Your miracle. I want Jody, I want Christina, I want Pat, and the ladies, come and take your mics and stand behind me, please. Healing is your right. That miracle you've waited for has come. Not long ago, I was ministering in a church. After Thanksgiving, when things just slowed down a little bit with my schedule, as they always do between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I called a friend of mine, Jose Ortega, sitting out there. I said, I want to go to some churches. So he picked up the phone. He said, Pastor Ben, there's a lot of pastors out there. would love to have you. And I went to one church not long ago. And I've loved every minute of it. Preaching Sunday mornings here and there. And a woman sitting in that congregation with severe arthritis. And her cane or crutch next to her. I just walked up and touched her, and she began to weep. She said, Pastor Benny, she said, I've been coming to your, to your crusades for 15 years, waiting for my healing. And this morning, you just come right down that platform and laid hands on me. She says, I've been waiting for this for the la last 15 years of my life. She said, I've come to those crusades, and I've done everything you told me to do, and nothing happened. But this morning, I'm healed. You know the beauty of it is, God is never late. Never late. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and receive your healing. Come on. You are the God that healeth me. You're the Lord, my healer. You are the God that healeth. Anointing is falling already here. You sent your word and healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Everyone stand, please. Your word and heal my disease. 
She's had breast cancer for five years, had two surgeries, uh, the power of God, the fire of God's all what over. Happened? What happened tonight? I felt the power of God there. That he called my body. That was amazing. I know that the Lord is my right pastor. The, the pain was where? I was no pain in the right side. Check it out. What did you feel on you? The present heat from my head to my foot. In the name of the Lord. She's had pain in her knees. The nerves have been bothering her. The pain is totally gone tonight. She's had it for years. Ellen, Ellen, you, you take the mic and tell me. Come on. This lady said she has uh, felt her blood. She's had bladder come, come, problems, come, come and she here. felt the Spirit of God moving on her bladder tonight. And what tonight. was wrong with her again? Bre bladder prolapse. Bladder down. prolapse. I see. And she felt it like lifting up in diabetes. Father, we give you praise for the anointing here. Jesus. Dear God, pick him up quickly. There's a reason why I'm praying for you. Pick up the key. Pick up Danny. Thank you, Lord. Pick him up now. Bring, bring Abby here. No, you stay with me, Danny. Lay hands on your baby. Father. Don't be afraid, the Lord tells me, to tell you of any sickness touching her. Let the anointing that's on me now and on her daddy protect her from all ill. And every child out there, lift your hands to heaven. Lord, every baby, every beautiful little boy and girl, protect them from sickness. Nothing will touch them. Nothing will touch them. Lay hands on your children. Go, go, go. Even lay hands if they're sleeping. Go in, into their room and, and lay your hands on them and say no sickness will touch them in Jesus' name. Uh, Tasha came to me a few days ago and she was really shaken up because she was at a doctor's office and someone, a child was there that had the measles. And they called her and said... Uh, you know, because Abby happened to be at the same time at the doctor's office, they, they, they had to call the, the uh, people who were there. And naturally, it scared my baby. I said, honey, nothing can touch her. So lift your hands, say nothing will touch her. In the name of the Lord. And lift your hands, say nothing will touch my babies. My children or grandchildren or great-grandchildren. They are, they are healed, whole, whole and, protected and protected for life, for life. In, Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. This man had uh, schizophrenia. He's, those voices were talking to him, and they just left. Goes in the name of the Lord, my God. The redeemed. Lord, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bring him closer here.
him back here. Fire on my house. Bring him here quick. Why you feel on you, man? It's fire, fire, and I, when you were preaching, I had electricity going through. And I got take it again, in the name. Somebody shout hallelujah! Father, in the name of the Lord, heal every person watching in in their homes. Every person, Lord, watching, we. We command sickness to go. We command disease to go. We command infirmity to go. In the name of Jesus, pain and will go right now, and disease will go immediately. In Jesus' mighty name, heal your people watching around the world. Bless them. Let this be a mighty year of visitation and restoration. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and the people said, Amen. Uh, now, I want you all to lift your hands to heaven and you also in your homes and say, this is my year of visitation, restoration. Wonderful Heavenly Father, I ask in Jesus' name. I ask in His holy name. Let this be my year of visitation, restoration. Wonderful Jesus, visit my life mightily, powerfully, anoint me mightily, powerfully, use me mightily, powerfully, restore everything I've lost. Let this be my year. Restoration is mine. Restoration is mine. Restoration is mine. In Jesus' name, all my loved ones will be saved. My children will serve the Lord. My grandchildren will serve the Lord. My grandchildren and great-grandchildren will serve the Lord. Your anointing, your anointing, will be mighty, be mighty. Heavy, heavy on my life, my home. My home. Oh, dear Jesus, oh, dear Jesus, cover my home cover my with your blood, with your blood. My, family my family with your blood, with your blood. My, future my future with your blood. With your blood. This, year, this year, 2015, 2015 is my year, is my year. Visitation, visitation, restoration, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Number four, amen. Number five, amen. Number six, amen. And a big loud number seven, amen. Let's give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Thank you for watching. Bless your heart. Hallelujah. Recently, Mike Murdoch joined Pastor Benny Hinn to declare that when we honor God, we open the door to his blessings and reward system, particularly in the areas of real estate, romance, and financial favor. All the Ten Commandments are about one topic, honor. That's all they're about. The first four deal with honoring God. Exactly. The last six deal with honoring people. And the first commandment Absolutely. with the promise was number five. If I honor my mother and father, it will go well with me. My days will be long on the earth. And it's the first commandment that God guaranteed a reward system. A reward system. Honor is the seed for rewards. Divine rewards, human rewards, longevity. Mike Murdoch went on to explain how he broke poverty off his life and tapped into God's reward system. I broke the back of poverty with the thousand dollar seed because what you can walk away from, you've mastered. Whoa. If I can walk away from a thousand dollars and leave it at God's feet, I have mastered greed. My seed is the only evidence I've mastered greed. What I sow has an instruction to it. Every time you sow a seed to God, talk to that seed, wow. give that seed an instruction. And there's three things that happen. And God spoke to me this the other day. Over the next 90 days, God spoke to me the other day and says, I'm going to bless you in real estate. The first place that you'll see God's reaction 
to this thousand dollar seed is somewhere in your real estate. Think about that. And the second? The second is in romance. What? <laughs> romance. Never heard that one before. Never had it before. Just, came, just given to me. I said, Lord, why didn't you give me that years ago? <laughs> had never. But the love of God is going to be shed abroad in your heart. There's going to be marriages where there's been 25 years, 30 years, marriages coming apart. There's going to be a new aura, a fragrance of romance. The love of God's going to return to your home. The love of God's going to return. Say it, say it. I receive the anointing for new romance. No means another wife. It doesn't mean another wife. It means restoration. You can't believe what's happened since we begin to speak that. All over the place. There's going to be people watching right now that's going to meet their wife in the next 90 days. Meet their husband in the next 90 days. Just say it where you are. I'm a receiver. I'm a receiver. The third harvest, there's going to be somebody like a financial Boaz want to bless you. There's somebody been watching you right now. There's somebody listening to you. There's somebody observing your life, and they're going to bless you like you've never been blessed before. In just a moment, you'll learn the specific instructions you must follow to activate God's blessings. So stay tuned. Pastor Benny invites you to join over 2 million Facebook users around the world who like Benny Hinn Ministries. Go to the ministry website and click the Facebook link. And while you're there, be sure to start following him on Twitter. Connect with Pastor Benny. Now, Mike Murdoch presents an opportunity for you to honor God by obeying his commandment to sow seed into the work of the gospel and then focus your faith on specific harvests. Let me say this fast and quick. And his sheep know your voice. Lord, your sheep know yes, your voice. Lord, they do. Your sheep know your voice. Yes, Lord, they do. Precious Holy Spirit, today I sow the first thousand out of the three thousand. You're speaking to three thousand believers who believe and trust your voice. They love your word. We trust your word. We've had many disappointments in our life, but you are not one of them. Oh, you are not one of our disappointments. You always do what you say. Amen. You told us in Malachi 3 to prove your existence and see if you would not open the windows of heaven. Amen. I ask you, Father, the next 17 minutes for 3,000 phone calls saying, I am one of the 3,000. I am one of the 3,000. Lord, I ask you for a glorious, glorious anointing on real estate transactions and decisions. There's people that will receive homes debt-free from relatives. There's going to be people that's going to receive the greatest grace. There's people that need to sell their house. There's people that are trying to buy a house. Father, because you are linked to us, our trust is in you, I call it forth. Lord, I decree and declare a romance, a romance return to our home, our spirit, our heart. There's going to be the fragrance of newfound love. Oh, it's going to be better than it's ever been before. Marriages will be restored. Amen. There's a man who's left his wife. Lord. He will return to her, Amen. and she will remember what she heard. And we sow this seed with expectation of a financial Boaz come out of the shadows Amen. of our life. Father, I don't know who the person is. But I decree right now, you sitting there on your sofa, right now, in the next 17 minutes, obey the Holy Spirit. Obey the Holy Spirit. Obey the Holy Spirit. Obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Resistance is defiance. <laughs> Delay is rebellion. I want you to reach for the phone. The phone number's on the screen. Say, I'm one of the 3,000. I'm sowing my $1,000 seed for the kingdom of God. Say to our, our, our phone people, say, I'm one of the 3,000 investors in the kingdom. Just say that, investors in the kingdom. I am sending you this book, Seven Laws. I wish every protege knew. It's my seed to the ministry. I'll be sowing the 3,000 so books kind. because it's that powerful. We talk about the law of honor. This is a seed of honor. This is a seed of honor. It's not a seed of desperation. It's a seed of honor. I honor my covenant with God. I honor my partner. God, do business through me. Now, do it Hallelujah. now. Do it now. We're, Hallelujah. We're almost out of time. Do it now. The number is on the screen. And that is a mighty anointing on you. Now, can you release that on the people for the Boaz anointing in Jesus' name? In the name of Jesus, I speak to the north, the south, the east, and the west, and I call in every person 
every person capable of blessing you. And in the next 90 days, you will receive from people you never thought of, and God will open the very windows of heaven, and you will be stunned at the gifts that come to you because the giver is the seed for giving. Everything you're sowing today has a future. Amen. Call us right now. Call us right now. For the next 17 minutes, even after we go off today, call the number that's there. Pastor Benny Hinn urges you to honor God by sowing your seed today and position yourself to receive blessings in the areas of real estate, romance, and finances. When you do, ask for Mike Murdoch's book, Seven Laws I Wish Every Protege Knew. Don't delay. Call now. Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today, who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. This week, Pastor Benny Hinn has been sharing a message designed to build your faith, to receive the miracle of healing you are seeking for yourself or a loved one. He has taught on the first three of seven reasons that God heals, including His compassion, His covenant promises to His children, and because it brings Him glory. Today, Pastor Benny concludes his message before entering into a time of worship. As you join him and the audience in experiencing the power which flowed in this service, prepare to release your faith when he prays for you in just a few moments. Number four, the reason he heals is because it fulfills his promises in the old covenant. Matthew 8, 16, 17, that it might be ful fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. When the even was come, they brought to him many that were possessed with devils. He cast out the spirits with his word, healed all that were sick. The day was is coming. I tell you, watching what's going on in this world today, I think we're coming close to that moment when the power of the Holy Spirit will be so rich that every sickness will be healed. There will not be one sick saint in the body of Christ. Man, I think about what's going on today, the darkness covering the earth, and the glory of God about to appear. Sue? I think you and I will see it. People, I think we're going to see it. I think you need to lift your hand and say, Father, I want to see it. All will be healed. All will be healed. And I believe when all will be healed, that will be the day when all loved ones will be saved. When all will be delivered. No more bondage, no more sickness in the body of Christ. We will walk in divine health and wholeness. To fulfill his promise, that it might be fulfilled, verse 17 said, which was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Why does he heal? Well, number five, he heals because it confirms his promise, his word. Not only does it fulfill, it confirms. Here it says that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken. But now in John 10, 37, the Bible tells us that it confirms the word. The word with signs following. John 10, 37 and 38. If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works, that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. What Jesus is saying is, believe for the work's sake. Let the word be confirmed. The word I speak is confirmed by those signs. Number six, Acts 10, 38. Why does he heal? He heals because he wants to destroy the works of the devil. 
Sickness is the work of the devil. Never accept anything different than that. He came to heal all oppressed of the devil, the word of God says. Sickness is not a blessing. Why does he heal? Acts 3, 7 to 12 and 4 verse 4 gives us the seventh reason God heals. Because healing will bring souls into the kingdom. That's why he heals. When the, when the word of God in Acts 3, when they saw that miracle, 5,000 were saved. Then in Acts 4, many believed when they saw the power of God. Souls will be saved. And this very simple message is what I want to preach to you. 